And this is a unit two from business law, which covers contracts. And we're going to talk today about an introduction to contracts and get an overview of what it takes to have a legally enforceable contract and what are the elements of that contract. Now we begin by saying that a legally enforceable agreement, which is a contract, is between two or more parties. And those parties agree to perform, which means to do something, or to avoid performing certain legal acts. And in order to have a validly enforceable, legally enforceable agreement, that the contract has to contain six elements. If any of these elements are missing, then the contract is not legally enforceable. So it could look for all the world like uh, it's a contract, but just miss one of those essential elements and it will not be enforceable in a court of law. So legally enforceable obligations are not social or moral obligations. Um, you may have many, many social or moral obligations depending upon the culture that you're living in, uh, but that does not mean that you could go to, to a court of law and file a suit and recover damages for someone for not performing a social or moral obligation. You know, we have lots of reasons why we have uh, contracts. Uh, the most prominent one that you're going to see in the business law section is the sale of merchandise or services. Uh, we, we also have employment contracts, which are oftentimes very detailed. Uh, we have you know, contracts for the transfer of, uh, of ownership of land or personal property. Uh, as you'll learn later in this unit, uh, if, if it's a, a contract or an agreement to, uh, to transfer land, it has to be in writing, but um, you know sometimes personal property can be an oral agreement. Now, <clears throat> a, a contract could be used to extend another contract or to revise a contract that already existed. So these are some of the purposes of, a, of having a contract. You know, when we start off as, as children, we, we learn one of the very first things is that when you make a promise, you're supposed to keep that promise. That, that's the part of our culture. You don't just make promises uh, just to break people's hearts. So you, you make a promise. If it's a legally enforceable contract, uh, it is obviously you know, enforceable and can be enforceable by a court of law with penalties or and you can actually force someone to perform a contract. So when we talk about these six elements, the first major element of an enforceable contract is the elements of an offer and the reciprocal of that, an acceptance. So an offer is a proposal made by an offeror to an offeree. I want you to note the last two letters of these words, offer OR, offer EE. -E. Many places you're going to see in the law, uh, English common law phrases that have offer or or offer e. Now a proposal made by an offer or is something that is extended to someone else. Uh, I, am, I would like to sell you this book. I offer to sell you this book. I'm the offer e. I'm the person initiating the motion. The person to whom that is, is received by is the offer e or the recipient of that offer. You will see these terms used as mortgageor, mortgagee, promisor, promisee, leasor, leasee, so it repeats itself. But the, the, the key thing to remember, these two, you know, the ending letters of these two words is repeated often and gives you a clue about who is the initiator and who is the recipient of that act. So you must have, first of all, the proposal must be made, and then it has to be, we have to have acceptance. An acceptance of a proposal is an indication by the offeree, the recipient, to agree to be bound by the terms of the offer. So you, these, are, these are both required. Someone makes the offer, the party ex then accepts the offer, and agrees to be bound by that agreement. 